convent called the Santa Rosa Convent in Pueblo, which is very famous. And it has one of the, old, one of the oldest kitchen in Mexico. If you ever had a chance to go to Pueblo, it's really beautiful. And the convent has this beautiful old tile kitchen where the nuns used to cook. And that's where a lot of these dishes were developed at the time. And this is considered a recipe, what they call the marriage of the old and the new world, because the ingredients is blending both cultures. And you have the new world being Mexico, you have the chocolate, which is from Mexico. You have tomatoes, tomatoes come from Mexico. You have chilies, all chilies come from Mexico. Then you have the newer world ingredients, which would be the other things, the sugar, the bread, the peanuts, the raisins, everything else we're going to put in. So Mole has tons of different recipes for Mole. I mean, tons and tons of different ones. It's almost like you can't go wrong, right? Yeah, and, and everyone you taste is going to be different. And if you notice, it's so such a weird mixture of things. You can so put a little bit of here, a little bit of there. But the story goes, when this was developed, the nuns were creating a dish for a visiting dignitary from Spain. And the nuns at the time were very, they were the elite women. Let me find a plastic bag and I'll tell you the story. Because there's an almost So, um, the nunnery was basically considered an elite society because the rich Spanish women or Creole women, born from Spanish parents but born in Mexico, basically you had two choices in life as a woman back then. You either married the person your parents chose for you to marry, and you probably you know, 14 or 15 at the time, or you become a nun. And that's it. There's nothing else you could do in life. So a lot of women that wanted to pursue an education became a nun because married women were not allowed an education. Mm. Men didn't want educated women in the family. <laughs> so if they were interested in, in literature or poetry or whatever, these women opted to become a nun. It was also a status symbol for these families. Because you basically had to pay the church a really large dowry too. Wow. So the church was basically um, going after all the rich girls in town too, as long as it was for the men, because they wanted that dowry. And that's what kept oh, the Catholic Church oh. so powerful. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can work so again, at the time, um, the women in the kitchen were actually wealthy Spanish women. They were cooking, but they didn't actually do the cooking. They had the Indian girls do the actual labor, because they kind of like directed what was going on. So they would direct them how to make more Spanish-related food with Spanish ingredients, because that's what they cooked at home with their families. But then the Indian women would come in and supposedly add the chili and add the tomato and add the chocolate, what they were familiar with, because they thought the Spanish food was really boring. Mm. So they went in there kind of like doctored the stuff up and the nuns weren't looking. Mm. And that's how like these recipes developed. Oh, so it's a combination of what they call old and new world, because the Indian girls would throw in those chilies and those nuns weren't looking.